How's it going and welcome to episode 2 of Zeldudes Play Skyward Sword HD. Uh, in episode 1 we finished the introduction to the game on Skyloft and now we're investigating the disappearance of Zelda. Much yep. like Tears of the Kingdom, although uh, actually exactly like Tears of the Kingdom, we're descending <laughs> to the surface. Um, yeah, this time we had a nap though, so we're good to go, we're fueled up, we're ready. <laughs> exactly, he's got his beauty sleep, he's ready to go. Yep, and Kabora left, you know, he got tired of watching Link sleep. He already did it enough, you know. <laughs> right. <laughs> but okay, yeah, but I Fledge, one of the, like, oh, he's, he's just such a bro. I, I love this guy. <laughs> yeah, look uh... at that, he gives you an adventure pouch before you go. That is a bro move, like, you gotta respect yeah. that. Like, no one cares about what Link is about to do except Fledge. Actually, no, you, you get a shield from one of the instructors as well, but still. You gotta, you know, respect Fledge. Did he, you know, um, knit it himself? Or I, I don't know how you make a pouch, but I think he did. Does he say that? I, I forgot. I wasn't paying attention. I actually can't remember, no. <laughs> He's, uh, I love his but, awkward face. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> his rosy cheeks. <laughs> yep. All right, let's leave this bastard. Screw him, though. Yeah. I don't respect. Oh, wait, wait. One thing I gotta do before I go. Sorry. Oh, of course. I got, yeah, gotta use yeah. the bathroom one last time, you know, just real quick. I, I went to sleep. I, I got my rest. I got my beauty sleep. I need to have my beauty poop now. There we go. Exactly. We've got the we've got the brown trousers <laughs> on now, so it's only fit. Yeah, they won't notice if uh, you know anything <laughs> leaks. You know, it will. It will if anything exactly. make it more vibrant. It, <laughs> all right. I don't know where I'm going. With that. <laughs> it was okay. the smell following him, but no other sign. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay, it's Owlin this time. Uh, this one they didn't really try with his name. Uh, you know, just Owl, <laughs> A-N. <laughs> right, yeah, because they're all... Everyone on Skyloft is named after birds, and they're like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they didn't put much... They put more effort into some than others, definitely. Yep. Um, the shield, though, I love like, the shields in this game, man. Oh, the designs so and yeah, how you can yeah, upgrade yeah. them. That's something that is missing from every Zelda game besides this one. Not even Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild uh, gave us anything like this. This is the only game that has upgradable items, weapons, stuff like that. And right, Five's already you, getting annoying. You had a link between worlds with the, the Mai Mai stuff, but um, even that, that is, it's not quite the same as going to the gear shop and bringing materials for them to upgrade your items and there's multiple right. tiers of each uh -huh. main item in this game. Right? It's, it's something great that I, I really wish they brought something like that into Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Yep, yeah, 100%. Um, though, you know, Tears of the Kingdom did give us fusing, but this is, in my eyes, the best way to upgrade things, like especially the, you know, main key items, like from the beetle, you know, the, you know, and the yeah. bow. Oh, the bow is so dope. Like, I forgot. But okay. Oh, the yeah, game with the stupid like, the prompts. Bow or... Right? Right? It's so cool. Yeah. So cool. It's great. It just, it's never made much sense, like, the items that you need to give them to upgrade those. Like, if you want to upgrade your, your iron shields, it's like, oh, that'll be five bits of tumbleweed, please. <laughs> yeah. It's, um, uh, the, though, uh, it makes sense. It makes it's it fun. a very confusing character. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, it, it makes sense the stuff you have to collect. Like I like it. It's it's fun. I don't like the tumbleweed per se, like farming them. But it gives you something to do, and you know, there's yeah. it, it gives it that RPG feel that Zelda has never had. Literally, this game brings it in a way that we've never experienced that I absolutely love. But yeah, his eyes like so freaky. They look uh, pretty much like crystals, like his. Uh, orb there but i do believe we want to speak to her because she will give us a uh potion bo or a bottle uh which will be mm. very handy right you, you get a free one from her i think i think you do yeah is yeah, um, yeah. is love a bird is that a bird name maybe uh though i don't know who would love this chick i'm kidding <laughs> i think she literally <laughs> is married with a kid uh though the husband is like right. the dainty uh, the, one. She's like the the yeah. brute buff one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but okay, sweet, we got sweet. it. I don't want to put anything yep. in it. But yeah, okay, and the baby's little. Yeah, there, it, there it is. <laughs> it's pretty cute. <laughs> in general, I think Skyward Sword characters are just so cool. They're like so expressive and yep. I the, think the, the few that exist. Like 
The few that exist, yeah, you're right. Yeah. But it's like a blend of like Twilight Princess and Wind Waker styles, where it's not like super cartoony like the Wind Waker, but a bit more realistic than yep. Twilight it's a, Princess. It's, it's a perfect blend of the two. That's why I like to look at it as. Um, I agree 100%. Yeah. It has the Skyward Sword, or it has the, the, tier, the Twilight Princess, so many Zelda gifts. It has the Twilight Princess character models, but it has the Wind Waker vibrancy and aesthetic, you know? Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I should stop talking to Fi every time she... I just feel like get annoyed when I see the thing, you know, blink. Already now I'm getting used to why, and I'm remembering why I didn't like Fi within this game. Because yeah, she just talks a lot. And <laughs> Yeah. Oh, in the original, I'm, I'm pretty sure most times that you get that, that blink in the HD version, that's when she would have just popped out and, and spoken to you whether you liked it or not in the original, right? She was definitely a lot more intrusive. I think so. I think so. I mean, uh, like earlier on, I decided to speak to her, and uh, then she automatically mm -hmm. came out after I spoke to her. So sometimes she will intrude whether you like it or not. Like right now, again, like yeah. let's click it. And it <laughs> but I don't have to this time. I'm, I, now I'm just doing it because why not? But like more meaningless yep. information. I think by now I would know where to go and what to do. You've. Told the me giant enough. glowing hole in the clouds. <laughs> right. <laughs> but okay, let's do it. But anyway, mate, this is this is obviously what inspired Tears of the Kingdom. But the uh, the whole concept of islands floating in the sky with this whole untamed wilderness below is just so cool. And um, yep. I know the Zelda team weren't really happy with how it turned out because of how segmented it is. But mm -hmm. the, the actual concept of Skyward Sword is just amazing. It's so. Oh great. yeah. 100%. Yeah, the limitations back then didn't let them fully realize what they wanted to do, but it still was very ambitious, very good for what it was. Of course, I'm not going to lie, Tears of the Kingdom, even though it, g it gave us something like this, it didn't feel as grand as what they initially had conceived with Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword was supposed to be true sky overworld that you explore with a true underground that you discover. Yeah. But Tears of the Kingdom, it's like... Here's the actual, or surface rather. Under, actually, Tears of the Kingdom does have a true underground to discover, but the sky is kind of like just not that important. It has a few islands yeah, up there. The Great like, Sky Island is the main thing, but it's very minimal. Exactly. It's just Breath of the Wild with, you know, a few things above it. But yep. I imagine if it was like Skyward Sword in the it's right? a whole fresh world that you've never seen before, that you dive uh -huh. from the sky to. to to access right? and that was all of our know. imaginations before the game came out let's be real like we we had insane hype for the game and then we we got something a lot more dumbed down i guess it's the same feeling we got with skyward sword but it, my expectations weren't that high with this game um i guess because i yeah. wasn't too involved with uh you know hyping up its release you know i, I feel like we, we you know we were so dedicated and that's all we thought about before tears of the kingdom came out so it was never gonna live up to the hype it's really hard exactly. for it to. yeah it's difficult because I, I do really like a lot of tears of the kingdom um and it is genuinely it's, it's like you've said many times it's the best game in the series in terms of how much fun it is to play and like how link controls and everything but mm -hmm. i kind of think in a way it was never going to be as good as i wanted it to be because i had a, you know this idea of the game in my mind um yep. and i don't think any game could have lived up to what i wanted tears of the kingdom to be uh-huh exactly uh this is going to take a while to get used to I do not oh, you're like... still on the, the sticks. Rather yeah, than the I feel like I got to commit to it. You know, I said I was going to do it. We'll see. I mean, I'm, I might rage quit eventually, but for now, mm. uh, we're committing to using just non-motion controls. You know, just actual, uh, you know, button inputs and and flinging the stick. But, yeah, but here we are, the, the sealed grounds. Mm-hmm. More Which expressiveness is... from Link. Yeah, look at his face. He looks so serious. Yeah. I love it. I feel like truly this is the best Link when it comes to his expressions and showcasing his oh, feelings easily. and yeah, everything. Yeah. yeah. I think only um, Wind Waker Link comes anywhere close. Oh, yeah, but he's on the this. goofy side of things. This is like, yeah, look, <laughs> yeah, he gets yeah, like yeah, a yeah, headache. Yeah. Like, this is so cool. I remember, oh, this is so cringe, but I used to make AMVs. Um, you know, <laughs> I mean, who didn't? <laughs> yeah, I used to love the. Oh, you used, you've done it before. You've edited, dabbled no, in that um, kind of. <laughs> not AMVs, but similar. I did uh, something called RSMVs, which is perhaps even cringier if that's possible. A RuneScape, RuneScape version. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> or you like type the lyrics of the song above uh, your character's head and then sync it up to like Linkin Park or something like that. Yeah, yeah, literally. So I would do that with uh, Zelda. Literally Linkin Park. I, I have one still up on YouTube. It's on someone else's channel, but if you dig deep, you probably find it. <laughs> what song was it? Was it like Crawling? It was or, uh, so In The End. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, you yeah, can't go wrong, can you? Right th no, that song is still tell today. So, so good. Like, so good. Um, so I got to interact with yeah, the the uh, thing all the way at the bottom. Let's just jump yeah. down. Wee! Too bad you can't dive if you're not actually in the sky. That is one thing that I really appreciated with Tears of the Kingdom. Like, being able to do yeah. it at any moment. I mean, even the smallest jumps, you know, you could dive Exactly. For a I don't agree with you completely that Tears of the Kingdom makes Breath of the Wild unplayable, but that is one thing that is really difficult to go back to. Right. Um, it's like, when, even if you're just jumping off, you know, like a small cliff or something, you can't press R mm -hmm. to, to dive. Yeah, That's and if you want to do nice those, edition. yep. And if you want to do those badass falls where you're falling and then you pull out the parachute last millisecond, <laughs> yeah. you can see Link with yeah. his hands like suspended. You know, he looks really goofy. Instead, like in Tears of the Kingdom, you can free fall or dive and look like a badass and then pull it out last second. Um, exactly. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of that. You can kind of do the same thing with the the sail cloth in this. I I guess, but. Yeah, true. But, no, like, but I again, mean, you you're can't not be diving. diving. You can't have exactly. your, your head so pointing more, at the floor. Yeah, yeah it's more yeah. akin to the feel you get in Breath of the Wild than yeah, than Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, yeah, this place gives me anxiety. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll be Running coming back off. here quite a few times throughout the game. Yeah, not um, looking forward to it. That's honestly, it's funny. That's the one thing I'm not looking forward to throughout this entire game. Maybe that in certain Gearham battles. But you know, Ned, please don't explain anything more. Five, please. Thank you. <laughs> We're not going to doubt Zelda. Here. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're here right at the start of the game. I can't imagine them turning up at some point, but aren't there, um... Yeah, here they are. Yeah, here they are. On the walls, there's a... Kind of, like, if you look, yeah, there's the carvings from the... Oh my the god, intro. you're right. And they look so much better yeah. in the HD version. You can actually notice that. Which is them. great, yeah. yeah. So you can assume, so you know, Hylia Seal's demise here and then... At some point in the thousands of years between that and this, like the legend was carved into the cliffs, which is really cool. I, I love mm -hmm. um, things like that when when things in Zelda become legends in universe, like uh, I already said, but like the Wind Waker, uh, the story of the Hero of Time at the start. That's just so cool. That's kind of what got me into Zelda stories as a whole, yep. rather than just being, a, uh -huh. you know, Zelda's just a fun game series. That's right, what like, got me interested in Zelda lore. Yep, because even if you didn't play uh, Ocarina of Time, you would be like, whoa, this is a cool ancient legend. And then comes out, you can yeah. play that legend. Like, that is such a <clears throat> cool concept. Exactly. Yep. It's cool exactly. I can see Death Mountain from here, by the way. I just noticed, like, uh, for a second there, but... Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I should have pointed it out when I was looking at it. <laughs> now you can't see it. It's <laughs> yeah. obscured by... All of this, but whatever. Okay, let's enter the Oh, if you now. look up here as well, there's another... Oh, wait, that's fine. You, you're cutscene. Um, yeah. But obviously you get the, the sage symbols on the roof of this bit, which is which is quite cool. Oh, nice. Yo, please point out all of these, because I feel like I just kind of, you know, run past this stuff. You would kind of <laughs> know this stuff. <laughs> I'm more focused but on the no, gameplay, get... but, like, it's cool it's how you crazy. like to you get... notice small things like that. I mean, this is why I'm so much worse at Zelda games than you, because I just <laughs> yeah, I run around and kind of stare at walls the whole time you actually play the game. Yeah. <laughs> but it's crazy, you get half of the sage symbols there, then obviously when the other half of the temple drops at the end of the game, it makes the whole set of, uh, of six from Ocarina of Time. Mm. Or is it seven? Does oh. it include... Oh, no, yo, wait. that is dope. I've it's never noticed six, that. Yeah. So, like, it completes it, because you're right, because that was once... Wow, they can literally connect with each other. That's so cool. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yep. I like how Impa's hair yeah. is like a, a pendulum. Oh, like image. a metronome or something. Yeah. 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 W whatever the but word I, I is. Know, I know right. I said <laughs> something swinging anyway. Yeah. But I know I said in episode one, but this Impa is, I mean, you know, spoiler alert, you're not meant to know she's Impa yet, but you know, if you're watching this, you're a Zelda fan, you know who this is. Yeah. Um, but she's definitely one of the best 
versions in the series. Probably mm -hmm. the best. The best, easily, because again, we, we get to see her throughout all points of life, and she's just so heavily involved. Don't get me wrong, in Ocarina of Time, she was very special. You know, she, her becoming a sage uh, for the Shadow yeah. Temple and all of that, and you know, you see her at the beginning of the game running off with Zelda, and she probably taught Zelda how to become Sheik, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, so yeah, this one's way more serious, way cooler. And again, we actually see her as an old lady. And it's cool how Nintendo always sees Impa now in, in two sort of styles. She's either the slender, tall woman, or she's the short, you know, old lady that old, uh, is like just nanny, wise. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you get both in this, and you, you see, like, yeah, she gets to be, like, the old, wise, sage, Sheikah, mm -hmm. um, like Impa in Breath of the Wild. But then she's also, you know, like a, a ninja. You see her fight Girahim. Oh, I'm um, not paying attention. Later I'm like, on. Yeah, my bad. I just realized I'm supposed to place the beacon. It's forced. I'm like <laughs> clicking A. I'm not even l caring about what she's saying. Like, I'm just like in the conversation with you, not paying attention. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Man, but I yeah. love this music as well. This mm -hmm. uh, sealed temple. Yeah, the call music in this game is always my favorite. One of my absolute favorites actually is the... The Bamboo Island one. It has such good music for what oh, it is. Oh, it's great. Right? Yeah. Okay, so you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. See, there, there you go. You got her, her bracelet kind of um, gleamed or shined or something. Mm -hmm. Which is something mm -hmm. you, you're not going to understand unless you're replaying this game. Right? Yeah, um, you, you finally notice thing it. Is, like, it. Yeah. I mean, and the you tear. can see something through the, the doors as well. If you go behind Impa. Oh, yeah, true. And look through the crack if you zoom in. Oh! Yeah. <gasps> Wow, yeah, you're, oh my god, that is actually crazy. That's, honestly, it blew my mind the first it time It makes no that. sense, too, because technically, right now, she's out there, but somehow right. she's there. Time, time travel, man. Right, yeah, time travel never makes sense, there'll always be plot holes, but yeah, I do love how you exactly. can see the tear, it's just perfectly covered, you know, the Sheikah tattoo. Um, and then, of yeah. course, yeah, like you said, the bracelet, which is given to her, uh, but much mm -hmm. later on. Or rather, for her, it's been forever since she's gotten it, but you get what I'm saying. Um, yeah. Is there a chest here? It's I crazy. think there is. Um, no. Never mind. Okay, let's yeah. go. But it's crazy like, how how long there is between, oh, here. you know, the distant past and um, and now. Because, like, Impa in Breath of the Wild is, like, what, like 120 or something? Mm -hmm. And she looks old. Whereas this Impa's got to be, you know, thousands or something. Right? Yeah, right, yeah. And, uh, you know, it makes sense. You know, the Sheikah are uh, forced to kind of, not forced, but they, they don't pass on until their duties fulfilled, right? Kind of like the Impa in even Breath of the Wild. They're all the monks in Breath of the Wild. Oh, Technically, yeah, we can assume yeah, they're yeah. still alive, just waiting for Link to. They're just literally skeletons at that point. Um, but, yeah, they're in like some kind of weird. It's like. um. What's the name of the monks? It's like Soku Shinbutsu or something like that. Is the some? I think it's like the monk that they're based on. Uh, they, they stop eating and wait. Um, how do I do that? Seal themselves. Oh, no. Uh -huh. no, I want to do the fatal blow. It's my favorite attack. All right. Oh how do yeah. I... You just gotta make sure you don't kill them outright before you knock them down. Right. I had a chance. I just don't know what button to click. What is it? Press it in. Uh, no. Is it like okay. trigger and A like it is in? Toilet Princess? Or is no, it, like, it shows the, the analog stick, but... Oh. Did you click it in? Or? I think you click up and down. Nah, well, I don't know. I clicked it in. I did click it in and nothing happened. Um, oh, we'll figure mm. it out. I'm, I'm honestly wanting just to go back to the motion controls because I'm so used to it. That's the main thing. But <laughs> I want to get used to this. Yeah. Um, I feel like, you know, this playthrough is a good excuse to really force myself and see if it is any good. Because, mm. yeah, part of me just wants to go the easy route and just play with what I'm used to. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I much prefer the motion controls on this. I did try the, the stick controls when the HD version came out, but... Mm -hmm. You know, it, it probably was around here where I where I switched back because, you know, even though I don't think the Joy Cons seem to work as well as the um, you know, the Wii Motion Plus did, it's still so much better than the the sticks. Yeah, yeah, and I mean the the Joy Cons work well. They just don't have the calibration because there's no sensor bar, so you have to constantly yeah. recalibrate them. That does get annoying. So I guess no matter what, you're never gonna get the full experience that you did on the Wii. It will always feel slightly off, which does kind of suck. Um, yeah. But yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, I love how Gorons have existed from the beginning of time, pretty much. I mean, I guess they're just rock people, you know. Uh, unlike right. I think Zora, that... I think they're the only race that we recognize from future Zelda games, right? Uh, everything else um, is kind of like they got extinct. Yeah, like the except mole for like people, the human the... races are the right. same, obviously. But yeah. yeah, but yeah, other than that, I can't think of another one. There's like because Skyward Sword, there's like loads of things that would become things in later Zelda games, if you get what I mean. Like, uh, mm -hmm. there's no Zora, but there are, what they called in this, like, Perella or... Right, and either Perella, hideous think. compared to the Zora. Yeah. Like, I wish there were but some I think, ancient Zora in this game. I think they're meant to be the... the what's Ancestors? the word? Ancestor of the yeah. Zoran. Uh, of the Zorans? Of the Zora, yeah. But <laughs> I like the way Yo, the Gorons don't need Zorans, an ancestor. I want to see some Zorans, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> some rock It's like that website people. where you put in two Pokemon and it like blends them together. Yeah, yo, yeah, that'd be cool if there's a Zelda version. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Zor uh, Zor I did it again. Gorons, they don't change. They're perfect. Like, yo. from from the day they were made or whatever, they're like the perfect race. Oh yeah, I remember rock, you were mentioning that bros. earlier. Yeah, they, their designs have barely changed throughout the entire series. Nintendo just right? hit it perfectly. They're like, yeah, no, we, we don't need to change these guys. They're big, burly rock men. And they look cool. I mean, I get nostalgic just looking at his face because I think of Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. And truly, they, they literally have the same face, especially with the architecture and, you know, the, the giant jars and the sculptures like in Breath of the Wild. It's like... Yeah, that, yeah, you've seen this face, you've seen them all. It's actually really cool. Um, exactly. I think the only one they look slightly different in is Twilight Princess. Um, I, oh, yeah, because they had like, like some extra elements to them. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, they were, I'd like say some they're of them have the like, most badass. Oh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, especially yeah. like... Um, uh, the boss, uh, Phyrus. What, what's, what's his name? Phyrus, yeah. What's his name when he's not Phyrus? Uh, um, good guy, Phyrus. Yeah. Oh, what is his name? It's not like Dan Goro or something. I, I, I can't remember. It probably begins with D, like Darmani and Darunia. And Darun. uh -huh. True. I can't remember what it is. It might be Dan Goro, but I, don't, I can't remember. But uh -huh. yeah, Phyrus, whatever. He's so cool when he's... I mean, he's cool when he is Phyrus, but he's also cool when he's not. Yep. Um, but okay, oh, nice. We made it. So uh, one hey. thing I feel like I... Okay, this to me, I, I, forest areas are... A must in Zelda games, right? Faron Woods mm -hmm. is so beautiful, oh, yeah. uh, and luckily most Zelda games do have some kind of forest area. Though I feel like with Breath of the Wild and uh, Tears of the Kingdom being so open world, you don't appreciate the forests as much as you would in a different Zelda game. Like you know, even though Faron Woods does exist, you kind of can just glimpse past it, and there's nothing too important to do in them. That it makes me feel like the game is missing that forest area. Of course, you could say Korok Forest, but to me, that's you know, just a maze and then a small little hub yeah. area, you know? Uh, I, no, I kind of miss the forest temples. Yeah, like we need it. To me, that yeah. is a staple. The first temple should always be a forest like temple, but the four main temples in both Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom have no forest elements in them. Yeah. No, I completely agree with you. Forest areas are just, they're like magical. Peak Zelda. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, exactly. It's magical. And like, the, I Wait. think another thing that was missing. Oh yeah, good. You try. gotta interact with them, um, right? Okay, or you can't fall. I think you to, have to, to interact to teleport with them. to it. Yeah, I think you do. Um, but yeah, another thing that Breath of the Wild's forests are missing is a banger soundtrack. Like this is right. so good. Skyward Sword's uh -huh. Farron Woods music. Twilight Princess's Farron Woods music is so good as well. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah, we get the the Kikwi. Yeah, Kikwi. They also game. are, I guess, extinct. You know, they don't right. exist anymore. They were, I guess, replaced by the Koroks or something. Yeah, because it, it's a bit weird, Scott, oh like, because Farron Woods, there is, um, there is a great tree, but it's not a great Deku tree, it's just a great tree, mm -hmm. um, and yeah, you get these guys, but then they don't really seem like spirits, like the Kokiri or the, the Koroks, they're kind of, yeah. like, more natural, maybe they're, like, what became the Deku or something, they, I don't think True. there's Deku in this game, the right? Deck, no, there, there aren't any other Deku, oh, wait, wait. I'm trying to think because there might be enemy Deku because there have no, been Deku in No, I think there's Octorox, other... the, um, the Octorox in this oh, yeah, game. Oh, yeah, yeah, just land-based Octorox. You're right. You're yeah. Right. Um, but I, d yeah. I don't know. I think, so maybe they're the Deku. I don't know, but... Yeah, I maybe they that's... evolve or maybe they became extinct, you know. Um, I yeah. guess the instructor in Skyloft, I don't know if it is Horwell who wanted one of the Kikwis or uh, Owlin, but... 
One of them, I guess they just let them die out, and the ones on the surface also die out. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> they don't study them well enough. I mean, let's be honest, right. they're a they're a very weak race because they as you can see, they're vulnerable. They literally look like just grass. Um they like what what is this guy doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they can't defend themselves. So if somehow there was some kind of thing that would, uh, you know, kill them off, they, yeah, they would die. They wouldn't stand a chance. They would be. They would eventually lose to. I th do I have to say? I'm yeah. kind of wonder. I think just interacting, right? I hope I don't have to say. Um, wait, pu pull up the map and see if um, they're marked. Uh, okay, it's marked. Yeah, it is. So I think oh, you're fine. Yeah, this you're one's right. marked. Oh, we came in from here. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. That's where okay. we came. Yeah, that's fine. All right. So um, wait. Is this? Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, this is not... Yo, I thought this was a Kikui for a Whoa. second. Right, because <laughs> it was camouflage. shaking. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a good camouflage. I guess it is if the uh, the person, you know, like the, the predator isn't looking for, you know, grass. <laughs> or like yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. But man, this whole area is just so, it's just so like chill. Um, the atmosphere yep. here is lovely. You get like the sunbeams coming in through the trees. Right. That's uh, great. I hope I hope this is something they, they return to. Oh, do, we, we don't get informed on these every time now, right? Though, no, it's no, it's HD just version. once. It, it, I think it's just the yeah. first time. Yeah, 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 no, I think we'll be good after that. Um, yeah. Yeah, but collecting weird, them are uh, annoying though, because we're gonna have to farm some if I want to upgrade certain things. And the cool thing with hero mode is you could start the game with the ones from your previous file, but um, right, yeah. yeah. Um, Wait, what? She wants yeah, we'll have me to, to work deal out. With them? Okay, I got we'll have to work so. out what we're doing, um, like a hundred percent wise, because I know we said last episode that we're unsure whether we're going to 100% all the games. There's uh, a few comments saying we might as well, uh, if we're playing the games, we might as well go all the way and 100% them. Uh -huh. um, we, we won't so commit we'll, we'll to see, an yeah. answer yet. Yeah, Because right. um, I would say... We're not doing all the Koroks in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, so, that, that's a good you know, example. Before and then, you ask. That's not uh -huh. happening. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, also just... In general, I feel like the we, we're playing these games to kind of relive them. We don't want to have it be like... Uh, you know, something mandatory we have to do. So I feel like mm -hmm. the more casual we treat it, the, the the more fun it will be, right? So if it's like, there is something yeah. that's just like really out there that's not worth it, then screw it, you know? Um, yeah, it's like we're not gonna 100% for the sake of 100%ing it, but mm -hmm, exactly. you know, it might happen because we might, we might do almost everything and then, you know, you might- Just because it's it. fun. Yeah, if it's fun to do, yeah. why not? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But there are a couple things that aren't fun. I mean, I'm see the thing. Even in the things that aren't fun, some things I have to get, like the Highland Shield. I hate what oh, you have to do yeah. in this game to get see, it. The the boss but rush. I need it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no. Pro you, yeah. You can't fight demise without the Highland Shield. It's uh, it just doesn't look right. Mm -hmm. And I think you'd just kind of chew through any shield that isn't the Highland Shield anyway. Yeah, well, the the sacred ones replenish oh, health so it, over it time. It heals itself, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, which is super They're quite cool. interesting. And it looks that's really like, cool. They, exactly, it looks like the Hylian shield, but but not. It's like, got, yeah. um, depending on which version that you're on, um, you know, it's got like a goddess statue on the front, which is quite cool. Mm -hmm. It has five elements yeah. to them. Oh, wait, okay, what's the... Yeah. Ah, uh, here you go. So, th yeah, this is an Octorok, not not a Deku, yep. even though they act exactly like Dekus do. Uh huh. All right. All right. Let's go to the. Oh, let's get this heart piece. Okay. Oh That's yeah. That's one yeah. thing. We, we yeah. If if there is a heart piece or a, oh a goddess statue as well, uh, it, you know I'll pick it up. Well, again, we'll see. We'll see as we go along. But uh, at least a tightrope in this game is a lot. Or uh, without motion controls, it's a lot easier because. Yeah, I'm just kind of wiggling the stick back and forth, you know, instead of trying to yeah. balance myself. Yeah, it's very, very annoying on a Wiimote. Mm -hmm. But eventually you can get the hang of it. I think you can hurt the birds. I think so. All right, here, come uh, down. Come. And then... Maybe when you get, a, you get a slingshot. Yep. I want to see if I could stab this guy. I really want to get that down. Like, <laughs> I need to. I just need to make sure I could do... The stab attack, because yeah, to me that is yeah. Link's most signature attack. Oh, oh, what the uh, the finishing blow? Yeah, yeah. 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 
Um, so do we need the do we, we need I the hook shot we or go the, straight. the slingshot first or do we go to him? Oh, I think we hit the tree. Oh, we hit the tree, right? Do you? I, well, I, I can't remember. No. I think you might have to sling, uh, slingshot that. Um. Oh, no, we do. Oh, no, there you go. You're right. You're right. Yeah, because I think we get a slingshot from him, I, if I remember correctly. I actually can't remember. We should know this, shouldn't we? <laughs> yeah, right? No, this is, this is what makes it fun. I want to... Re like, I was saying, no, yeah, yeah. no practice, no prior playing the game or anything like that. Yeah, I just think relive the games. Yeah. Yep. Because, yep. you know, we both play through these games all the time for, like, footage or, or whatever. But mm -hmm. it's... At least for me, it, it's rare that I, I sit down and kind of experience a Zelda game without thinking of, you know what content I'm going to make or whatever. Uh, uh -huh. I don't know, it's ironic that I'm making content now on this game, but still, the point is to just sit and experience the game in a kind of a regular playthrough. Yeah. Which I think is, that's why I'm so excited to go through this whole series. Um, yeah, same. It's a good excuse to also, yeah, relive these games. Because I think ever since, uh, especially Breath of the Wild came out, I haven't really revisited any of these games nearly as I used to uh, before Breath of the Wild came out. Like, I would always come back and play Twilight Princess, but um, since Zelda changed so much with those games and now Tears of the Kingdom, it's like... Yeah, I have to actually go out of my way, especially because there's just so many games to play nowadays. And you're right, with making yeah. content, you you kind of end up neglecting some of the games that you wouldn't normally neglect as as often because you're, you're yeah, more exactly. focused on other games or making content around it. Yeah. Oops, I shouldn't have yeah. said that. Okay, well, great. Wait, what did you say yes to? I wasn't reading it either. Yeah, so same. Um, it's uh, <laughs> let me say again, please. No, uh, she's <laughs> explaining how to douse for the kikwis. Oh, right, yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah. Looks like we're gonna have to play Move some hide-and-seek with the Kikwis. Yeah, very interesting design on the, the Kikwi Elder here. <laughs> yeah, he's just huge. <laughs> I'm not um, even gonna say it, it doesn't need to be said. But. <laughs> that he looks like a ball sack? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wasn't but, gonna go there. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I think this is a good um, part to end off things. Uh, and, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, next time we'll be playing hide and seek and looking for this ball sack <laughs> kids. Or... <laughs> yeah, uh, thank you so much for tuning in to episode two. Um, yeah, keep. Um, I don't know what the upload schedule is going to be, right? Um, uh, it won't be long before episode. We'll be playing this three, a lot, yeah. so as long as we have episodes, yeah. we'll you know we'll be pumping them out. Show you guys the support if you do want more. That way we'll know to to keep at it. So. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, share it, watch the video, all that good stuff. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I guess we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.